morning football. Another one! Another one! Come on! Get over here! Yeah! Angry Run brought to you by FedEx! Are you ready? You better be. We got a loaded one this week. This is the set that we send it each and every week to the angriest runner in the NFL. It's like Thor's hammer. I'm the only one who can lift it. I caught Jamie before the show trying to pull it up off the ground. Oh! You can't do it unless you earn it. Everyone earns it every single week who gets it. But Jason, how do we start every Angry Run segment? Where's the street team, the street baby? Team. Let's go to the Angry Run street team. You see, I got the <laughs> shirt on here. You get it from homage.com. Look at my man Dan at the <laughs> link. What's up, Dan? I love that all these guys are just sitting here on my phone, on my phone, on my phone. And Dan's like, yeah, Dallas Goddard. I kind of feel like you're flashing me, Dan, and I like it. I'm going to throw you some beads. Next, this is the best picture we've ever gotten from the street team. This is an unbelievable picture. Look Ooh. at this guy on a boat trip. And we got the Tom wow. and the Vineyard Vines. I'm wearing angry runs, and I've got bare feet. I love this dude. Imagine him explaining to all these people what the hell that shirt is. <laughs> Doesn't give a damn. That's the kind of spirit we look at. Philly for life. <laughs> I'll tell you who else has a shirt and a scepter. Last week's winners, plural, Miami Dolphins, Raheem Mostert and Chris Brooks. Remember what the rookie Chris Brooks did? He's throwing Panthers into each other. He's still running. Unbelievable effort from a guy on the field for very little experience. Doesn't give a damn. I sat down with them. We talked to them. They got the shirts. They got the scepters. Give me my Dolphins. Co-winners. Bring them up here right now. Look at my guys Woo! right here. You got the nice little rookie first day of school smile. And you got <laughs> Mostert, who has won three of these things. Wow. I said, wow, Raheem, it's your second one. He goes, it's my third oh, one. Yeah. Yeah. I asked these guys, which Miami Dolphin is most likely to win one next? You know what they said? Blew my mind. Jalen Ramsey. I go, what the? He's out there and he's pissed. Okay. Jalen Ramsey, if you get your hands on the ball and get a scepter, well, all our minds will be blown. Wow. Love these guys, welcome to the ring of anger with your angry brethren every single week. Baker, Christian, Zach Charbonnet from the Seahawks. Remember that one. Dawson, Dallas, and the two Dolphins. Now let's roll. Let's go to the windy city, Chicago, Illinois. I got my guy new in town, Deontay Foreman. Oh, who catches oh, oh, oh. It, and we going down the sideline in three, two, one, boom. Oh. That's right. He didn't have to do that. He wanted to do it. He's been out of bounds for seven <laughs> steps, oh, yeah. and he still did it. And look at my man, the, the folk hero, Bajant. And look at all the linemen fired up. What's up, Lucas Patrick? Yeah, Peter Lucas Patrick from... Oh, no! Duke! Take a lap, Schrager. Dukey. Now watch this. Look how beautiful this is. Freeze it. Look at how this thing is set up. Mm. These are the Orakai coming into Helm's Deep. <laughs> they are ready to rock some people. And look at the Raiders' sideline. Mm-mm. Better get on that early flight to O'Hare, get some Garrett popcorn, go back to Vegas and right to the Rhino. This one ain't happening. <laughs> we got my guy, Cody White here. We got Tevin Jenkins. I think Olin Kruitz is in there. Yeah. And Fred Miller and John Tate. Unfreeze it. If you think I won't do a whole segment just naming Bears linemen, I will. Tom Thayer, Mark Bortz, Jimbo Covert. Here we go. One, two, three. He doesn't have to. He does it because he wants. You know the crazy thing about Dante Foreman? The craziest thing? He had another angry yeah, run he did. in the same game. I thought so. Let's go back to him. Deontay Foreman wearing that RW McCorder. Oh, no. No. Are, you, are you kidding me? He's new in town. What do you do when you're new in town? You go to Lincoln Park and you go to the Wiener Circle. Yeah. He's treating these people, these Raiders, <laughs> like the Wiener Circle employees treat the customers. Can I get some relish on that? Shut up. Can I get some mustard? Your mom has got mustard. That's what he's doing right here. And he's flexing. Deontay. Welcome to Chicago. Three touchdowns, two angry runs. You will not believe where we're going next. Oh. I'm tickled. I'm delighted. The next player, Puka? Puka Nakua! Yeah. Let's go to the Rams game. We're going to find Puka against that Steelers defense. He says no. He says no again. Is Puka Nakua the best football player ever? Is he the best athlete ever? Is he the best person ever? I'm telling you. Puka in 2024, he wants it so bad. What I like is he takes this and then he wants more. He goes in for more. This is Puka versus Minka. Uma, Oprah, yes. Puka, Minka, Letterman, miss you. You know what I like this too? <laughs> Watch in this play. Cooper Cup's like, all right, good play. Why don't you take a few plays out now? Let's take a few weeks out. We love you, but you don't have to play this great Puka Nakua. Totally fearless, doesn't give a damn. It's one of the best safeties in the league. Lowers the shoulder, delivers the blow. Puka. I love you. 
I would love to send this to California. However, there's a little division rival of the Rams who starts getting frisky on the Twitter machine. Let's show the tweet that we caught through after this last week's action. All right, Seattle Seahawks. Oh. They're informing me that they've done our job. You don't have to look. We found your next anger run cut and a little bit of a cool grimace. Let's see what the hell they're talking about. Let's go to our guys, Ken Albert and Jonathan Vilma. Yes. One to 34 on the toss. It's Walker. Ooh. Kenneth Walker. Gain of nine. Ooh, that was a Kyle Grant angry run. Run right over. Starling Thomas, just watch the end of this run. Bam! You talk about punishing a defender. <sighs> Vilma, come here. First of all, let me just throw this up for you. Let me respect the you. I like and let it. me tell you, thank you for loving the segment. I promise you, if the segment existed during your career, you never would have been on it. Oh, hey! All running backs are running the other damn way. You know who's not, though? Oh, Kenneth Walker. This is so good, so pure. So clean, you can't, I, I'm just gonna sit down, guys. I'm gonna sit like I'm having a damn picnic and watch it. Now look at this beautiful vision, like I'm looking at a, a constellation in the sky, a Cassiopeia. You know your kids, when your kids, your parents tell you, don't stick your arm out the window in the car. Don't do that there, you're gonna lose your arm. And speaking of arms, can you even distinguish the size of the bicep from the football? I don't know which is which. This is what's called an arm tackle. Unfreeze it, runs directly through it. An unbelievable angry run by Kenneth Walker. I mean, this is the craziest clip involving a Walker since Haley Joel Osment was in the Walker, Texas Ranger from Conan O'Brien. Kenneth Walker told me I had to tackle him. Too bad, boom! I love it. Trucks him, keeps going. You can win all this thing. I love a PJ in Seattle. This is Jeff Amens on bench. This is, this is deep. This is blood. This is go. This is animal. Spin the black circle. Is it our winner? I'm a big fan of that run, but he's got some competition. This way, please. Boom. Hey. Deontay Foreman times two. Puka Nakua, the Hall of Famer, and my guy, Kenneth Walker. Let's do it. What is the Wiener Circle? What, what was that reference? <laughs> Wiener Circle is a hot dog place. Oh, God. Chicago and I. And I'm just realizing now, in my fervor, in my intensity, I think I called Kenneth Walker PJ Walker yes, a did. couple of times. Yep. I love PJ Walker. Okay. Sometimes the blood goes to other Same. places than my brain. Hey, you gave yep. Mike McCreary and you gave Eddie Vedder some love, and that's okay. That's, that's the I did. Yes, I did. Stone Gossard. All right, what do we Let got? Let me get guys? back to where I'm so. The Wiener I'm, Circle, I'm they insult you when you order. Yeah. I'm going with Mr. Foreman. He insulted the entire Raiders defense. Really good. Marcus Epps, number one. I feel really sorry good. for him. He got both of those. Mm. 21 on the Bears. You said R.W. McCordy. Yes, sir. I think of Major Wright. Major Wright. I also think of. Oh. NFL Network colleague and 85 Bear legend, Mr. Leslie Frazier. Leslie Frazier. Wow. 21 for the Bears. <laughs> I'm going to laugh. with Deontay Foreman. Deontay. 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 I think he's on 11 teams. He's still yes. on Angry Mr. Runs. Yeah. Let's go. You know, the life lesson is quality over quantity, except for when it comes to this week's Angry Runs. I'm going quantity over quality. I am also going Deontay Foreman. Because if you give me two examples, also shout out to our guy Scott. He just had to hold a dead squat oh during Angry goodness. Runs while you were looking at the constellation yes. down there. Impressive. So shout out Scott right here. I was looking at Cassiopeia and Scott's doing a kettlebell dip. Oh my yep. I could be on the segment, by yep. the way. He's yep. tougher than all these yep. guys. Yes. Let's bring it in. Let's bring it in right now because we had a loaded week and Rasheed Rice of the Chiefs could not be included. Chiefs fans, I got as excited as you did. I'm not allowed to run that play, but I am allowed to run Deontay. And guess what? We're going to Chicago. Yeah. Boom. Times two. Let's go. Shout out to the wonderful ladies at the Wiener Circle. Shout out to all the Bears linemen and everybody putting that work in at Hallis Hall. Angry runs. Boom. See you next week.